Week 51 of reselling online, and it has been a journey to get here. Now, you're probably huh? thinking, Chris, why are we not on week 52? Why are we not on actually week number one for 2022? Well, the big answer for that one is I actually started this journey back on 11th of January 2021, which means we haven't actually hit a full year yet. So we will be doing week 51 this week and week 52 next week, and then we'll be starting fresh uh, for 2022. That aside, it has been an incredible week of progress. Actually, it's <laughs> surprisingly, it's actually been uh, my best week again yet. And I actually want to share with you a hot tip that I've done this week to ensure that I'm going to kick off the year as best as possible. And it's already starting to pay dividends. Let's jump into it. Top item number one was this PlayStation 3, which I also got from that video game haul, which I'll give you an update on soon. This one cost me $4.50 as part of the average cost of goods. Uh, I've sold this for $220 uh, plus postage and I've profited $172.36 after fees and postage. Top item number two, and this one actually is part of the hot tip that I'm going to talk about a little later. Uh, but this was Portal 2 The Cube Edition and this has actually come from my own collection. This has actually come from something which I've gone around at home and done a bit of a thrift and so there's no cost to the business. Obviously it cost me something way back when I got it but this, this bad boy is about 10, 11 years old. I totally forgot I had it and it was still in almost sealed condition. Uh, so zero cost to the business and I've sold this for $109.97 and it's sold in less than 24 hours. Um, after fees and postage, I've profited $164.97. This one's going all the way over to Canada. Top item number three was this Pip-Boy um, Xbox One uh, limited edition. Uh, basically, it comes with the Pip-Boy if you've played Fallout 4. Anyway, this one came from the video game haul. cost me $4.50. I've sold this for $200 flat. After fees, postage, I've profited $156.03. Top item number four. Now, this one I actually paid up for. This is Tang Garden. Um, it's a three-piece game set originally from Kickstarter. Now, two of them are sealed, one of them have opened and has not been played. Uh, cost me $75 for the three, and I've sold this for $200. I've been sitting on this one for about six, seven months, um, and profited $83.71 after fees and postage. So, good to see that you can still pay up and still make some good money. And top item number five for this week is this Animorphs that I picked up as part of, I think it was my first op shop run after the, the lockdown. Anyway, this one cost me $83.99. This was, it was around 36, 37 Animorphs books and I've sold this for 180 dude. Huh? For $180, I originally had it for 200. I knew someone would probably give me a lower offer exactly what I got. Um, after fees, postage, this one has profited me $65.01. So for the video game haul update, here is a flash report of how we are progressing. It has continued <laughs> to <clears throat> just surprise me each week of how much I've been able to sell of these. Around Christmas, obviously some of those bigger items, some of those collectibles and more sought after items have been a lot more popular, which, which makes sense. And whether this will continue to thrive over the next coming months or not, I've still got a fair bit to sell, still got a fair bit to go through, but hopefully it will start to move along quicker and it's actually gonna give me a bit more space, but I'm still surprised and so thankful for this opportunity. The flops, the wins, and the lessons. Well, there was no flops this week. It was a pretty good week um, coming out of Christmas. It's uh, it's actually been it's actually been really really good week. It's been pretty easy, light and easy. And because we had a lot of public holidays, I think the big lesson for this week is the packaging process. Um, you know, I'm always trying to do things better, which I always always try and say that here. But when you scale or when you have more, you start to realize the friction points. And at the end of the Christmas holiday break, which we we basically had public holidays. Um, all the way up until the Tuesday after Christmas, which meant I wasn't packaging and posting until the Wednesday. Now, I had about 42 packages, and that took me about three hours to do. Now, the reason why was because it was a lot of um, big items as well. I had the Xboxes, I had the Playstations, I had all those different things which made it hard to do, um, and not necessarily very quick. So definitely thinking about how I could have done that better, and it's, it's all part of the learning process. But I've also got a hot tip for you um, in the lessons which yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. I'll hold different page on that one. But the wins, I guess, for this week has been coming into the new year. Um, obviously, because we are in the new year, I do have new motivations that I'm working on. And I'm just excited to be able to start to apply them to the business. And I'll be talking about that over the next coming weeks. I think the other big win is just being thankful for the progress for this year and the progress up to this point. I mean, we, we haven't necessarily hit all our goals, but we've hit some amazing things, which I probably didn't even realize I was going to do in the first place. So I think that's a big win and a big takeaway. And then finishing 2021 with a bang, meaning we've had another big solid week, uh, best week yet. So 
they're all things to just, you know, make sure you don't take for granted because I will. I'll probably have some lower weeks coming up and they won't always be the best weeks. And I think that's very important to remember just to keep yourself honest. So the hot tip, well, I think the big tip that you can do for 2022 or the start of any year, or even you can do this on a regular basis, whether it's once a month, is looking around at home and seeing what you can cull and seeing what you can sell. Because a lot of the time as we get progress, especially on a year basis, we you know, we go for that process of spring cleaning or we go for that process of just getting things in order because, you know, holiday season, you're at home, you've got people home, you've got family home, so you just want to clean up. And this is a perfect opportunity to go through things that potentially you're not going to want or need for the next year um, and sell them. And I started to do this. That's where that Portal 2 has sold from. And I've also done this for a few other personal items as well. I've gone through Lego collections and going through some other things too. And I'll probably have more on this next week to show you what the benefit of this is. Now, I think the best benefit first that I can say right now is there's no cost to the business, right? Um, obviously, yes, you had to pay for it at a certain time, but if you're operating as a business, you can put this as a zero cost to the business because if it's something that's 10 years old, 20 years old, it, it, it doesn't actually line up with your tax for that year or anything like that. That That's not advice. That's just more the way I'm operating with it. Um, so, and it's a quick win to just get the year started with some quick sales or maybe some big sales. So more on this next week, but it's an exciting way and a quick way to potentially get some coin. So how have we done this week? Well, it has been my best week yet. Um, surprisingly, I did not expect this to be, to be honest. We've done 56 sales with average sale price of $36.70, margin coming in at 66.7%. Uh, cost of goods was $270. We have sold $2,057 worth and profited $1,372. Now, if you have a look over to the side, you can see the items that have been selling. Once again, being video games, toys, books, and DVDs, uh, interestingly, interestingly, the average cycle time on these items has been 62 days. For the last couple of weeks, it has been 30, 40s, and 50s. This has been the highest, and I sold a lot of items that have been sitting around for a while, uh, which is good. It's great to get them out the door. So, surprisingly, I think I sold a shirt, which actually was my second or first item that I listed in January 2021. So, just goes to show that, you know, things do take time, but hey, it works out in the end. But would I sell them again? Probably not. So this is just a running view. Uh, average is up to $1,016, up from $995. And this week, as, as you can see, we did the, the 2057 amount. But it's just been a progress. The last few, last eight, 10 weeks have been up and down. And now I've had some consistent back-to-back -back big weeks. Will it continue? I guess we'll find out. And then from listings and sales, we've done 106 listed items for this week, basically 15 every day for the uh, for the seven days and average around eight sales per day. Weekly flow, this one was a bit of a surprise. I mean, we started off super strong. 27th, 28th, 29th, we were $300 days plus. Um, and then as we got closer to New Year's Eve, uh, it did dip a little bit and the New Year's Day was just like crickets, 50 bucks. But then yesterday, um, basically the 2nd of January, which... Surprisingly, we've come out and done some big numbers as well. So it has been a pretty overwhelming week. I, I did not expect this to go as good as it did. And I've been selling a lot of different things. So um, continue charging on, start this year strong. And hey, I remember when I was doing $396 in a week. Um, and now we're doing this on a day. So it, it's been very, very overwhelming to just see this all happen. $100,000 revenue update. So we're on day 357 at the time of filming this. One more week basically until we have finished this whole challenge of can I hit $100,000 in a single year. Now, obviously we already know the answer to this. I did not hit it, but in the 51 weeks, we're currently sitting at $52,866 uh, with an average sale price of $30. Now, I'll be adjusting all this into the new year and what the goals and all that jazz. That will be coming soon, but we'll finish up the 52 weeks and then we'll go from there. Time for some show and tell. All right, team, I'm just getting ready. All of the sales that have come through over the Christmas long weekend, which was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, because Monday and Tuesday were public holidays. And we have sold so much, guys. We've got about 40 items we're packing at the moment. We've got shirts, we've got uh, little plushies, we've got some video games, we've got books, 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 a little pin, uh, Thomas, Actually, that's not Thomas, it's just trains. Uh, we've got a pop vinyl here. We have this Tang Garden, finally, which has gone out the door for $230. Uh, we've got Angry Birds, the Lego's finally going. We've got a Gears of War 3 Xbox. We've got the PlayStation 3 finally going out. Um, we've got all these games and movies and books. 
these are sealed these ones are some higher value ones i've already put these into these will be paid nine dollar postage ones and these are all free postage and going into sleeves and bags i mean sleeves and uh, padded bags so lots of games and dvds there as you can see but it's going to take a while to do this but it should be pretty good even pokemon cards we've got the lot a whole lot of stuff so much here let's do it all right team a new year's eve uh, mail run just quickly getting this done it's already 12 o'clock and been out running and anyway anyway let's get to it so we've got a couple of dvds we've got some games uh, a couple of books going out together these two are picked up from sabers uh got call of duty black ops 3 uh, we've got this Harry Potter book. This is the 14th Australian edition. Went for $50. Kid you not. Uh, Black Stallion. Got Mem 1. House series. These two trains are going out as a bundle. Uh, they've gone for $54 plus $9.30 postage. Pair of RM William jeans. Um, Game Boy Advance. Wireless adapters. Another Opal. I mean, another book at the bottom there. And this Fallout 4 Pit Boy edition. Um, sealed. Uh, so, oh can't forget this guy too so a few lots of different items we've also got some lego going out too it's been really really a blessing this month it really has so very uh very humbled anyway happy new year guys so my next favorite segment is perspective is everything just keeping me honest and showing how i've progressed and some of the numbers behind uh the profits the revenues the margins and sales for for this week and where that ranks over the last 51 weeks as well so sales we have done 56 sales which has ranked in around six out of the 51 weeks we've had revenue come in at rank number one obviously being my best week yet now with that profit has ranked in at number three at $1,372 and then margin has come in actually down at a rank number eight out of the 51 weeks which you can see is I did pay out for a lot of those big ticket items uh, like the 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 board games and the animals so just goes to show that you know you can have big numbers it's not always going to be high profits either so I want to make sure I'm very clear with this so that's week 51 of reselling online it has been a journey as I always say, and I think the big takeaway has been of just reflecting on the progress of this year. And I'm going to be talking about that a lot more as we wrap up the 52 weeks next week and just doing a reflection of the whole year and what that, that whole experience has been like. But, you know, having you come along each week and, and share this journey with me, I think has kept me motivated, kept me honest, and has been a great way to be able to push myself to see if I can do things a little bit better. And we'll continue to do that because um, it's onwards and upwards from here. My encouragement for anyone that's watching or listening is, you know, find what works for you. And if you've got tips and tricks is, you know, work with other people to share and, and, and help each other. Because at the end of the day, we're all in this together in the sense that no one's an expert, no one's perfect. You know, I'm doing things differently to how you're probably doing things. And you've probably got things which is going to help me. And I've got things that hopefully will help you uh, that would be my advice is, you know, be, be willing to help other people, but also don't give up because one day is not a representation of every single day when you're selling online. So happy new year. Um, I hope you've had a wonderful holiday season, Christmas, New Year's, all that jazz. And we'll be back here for week 52 next week and we will do it all again and wrap up for the 52 week challenge. All right, team, appreciate being here. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang and hustle. Ciao.